so hello everyone this is just a quick demo for this uh, full stack application that i made using react js and spring boot so this is just an introduction i'd like to share the uh, just the functionality and how it really works and what are the features that i've given in this so without further ado let's get started right so um, this is the application that I made in React.js. As you can see, this has this uh, video template playing and uh, this like literally occupies the full space. And then we have the nav bar, which is basically transparent nav bar. I have used uh, entirely Bootstrap because um, I wanted to make it quick. Uh, I could have applied some custom CSS, although I have used CSS as well, but um, it is quite limited in on some of the pages. Uh, for the application, so, uh, we can see that there's a, uh, this is the home page, right? Um, you can go on, check out learn page, right? And this just opens the about page. And here is just ordinary stuff, right? The simple stuff that, that is there. Uh, what is the application about, what it does and all the things. Then we have uh, the dashboard, right? And once we click on the dashboard, then um, we need to go to, we need to log in first, right? So this is a um, basically a health management system, a centralized health management system where the doctors and the patients can track their history. So the doctors can see their history and the patients can also see what what history they have. They can search for a doctor and things like that. All right, I'll, I'll just log in and then I'll show what uh, that is about. Then we have like, uh, there's one option like this, uh, this COVID tracker, right? So this is this is the uh, uh, tracker that I made by just consuming a REST API. Uh, mind you, the REST API is, uh, um, the REST API is being consumed by the Spring, Spring Boot application. So uh, I'm making a call to the Spring Boot application to fetch the data, which is fetching a third party API for all this data. So for the graph, for example, for this graph, I have used uh, recharts. So as you can see, it's, uh, fully uh, showing the tool tips and all the things, what the data is. And it is basically a cumulative graph of COVID, right? This is the daily data. Um, this is for the past seven days, whatever the cases were. Um, and this data is for uh, India. Uh, I have hard coded it, but you can also make a drop down here and then pass in the country code and it will uh, respectively return the data, whatever you are uh, uh, requesting. So that is it. Uh, I wanted to add the blogs as well, but uh, I'll add it in the, uh, if I have time. Uh, so for now, this is just blank, but I'll just add it afterwards. Um, this is the about page I have already shown. So let's let's just log in now, okay. Uh, for the application, I have already uh, set up the uh, base, I mean, uh, example users. So we can just uh, log in with them and just see the flow and how it works and what are what are the things that are there. Right. Um, I'll just log in. So I have logged in as a sample user. Uh, as you can see, the nav bar also shows what the user is. Um, this is nothing fancy. I'm just using the JavaScript local storage, but you can also use uh, the session storage for uh, JavaScript. So after logging in as a patient, right? So this guy is a patient and after logging in as a patient, you can find a doctor in a city. So you can type in your city here. Let's say I have typed in Delhi and you can give a specialty, let's say cardiologist and you can search in this tab and then it will just return you the doctors that are there in this city and those are cardiologists. You can also give it a partial search. So nothing fancy here. This is just modifying the query to just return the partial data. Uh, this specific table, I have used the MDB react table, uh, data table. And that table I have used because I feel that that table is very easy to use and uh, uh, it's very simple to use, right? And you can directly apply pagination here just by just passing in the data. So I can just uh, search, for example, like this, this is just one guy, right? So I'm not going to search in this, but I'll just show you. The, so uh, in other pages, I'll just show how the search works. So you can just search and then scroll through the pages um, and you can change the rows per page and so on. Uh, let me go to my history. So, uh, I have already tested the application. So I have already added this, uh, junk data by default. These two are the, uh, standard data, but th this is just a junk data that I've added. Uh, but, um, the doctor can consult and the patient can see his history, what, uh, which doctors he attended and what were their details. 
so all the things are mentioned here and here you can also search uh, let's say he wants to search for a particular doctor he can search it uh so yeah that's it um he can swipe the pages and that was it fairly simple right nothing very fancy um okay uh, let me show you uh, one more thing um i'll just sign out and log in as a doctor that i've made so this guy is one of the doctors let me log in for that okay um and the doctor can also attend to a patient so what the idea was that the doctor first has to ha can enter the patient id and then he can search the patient history that was there so after entering let's say the patient id 12 he can see the patient details so these are the patient details x y z and these are the this is the history of the patient so if the doctor wants to see what what the patient was up to what what medicines he had taken and so on he can just have a look at into this table and then decide what to do and after that he can just click on this consult button and then he can just consult the patient so let's do that so if we just consult the patient so this is taking the patient id we can give a name uh, this this data is being fetched from the previous call only so this is just um, the uh, uh, unchangeable html input field and we can give any diagnosis so let's add a diagnosis uh, xyz let's say we add a medicine a, B, C, prognosis, whatever, uh, Y, Z, A, whatever, right? And we can give a consultation and voila, we have a patient consulted successfully message. And now if you again see uh, the patient history, we can see that this is the new consultation that we have given. And all of this uh, also has this uh, filtering method. So that's all built in into MDB React uh, data table that's what I really like about it. Uh, so we can easily filter these out. We can search them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, it. Uh, in the previous consultations, we can see uh, the doctor specific consultation. So for example, uh, 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 me, like uh, I'm a node gen, right? So I have given these consultations to this patient and uh, these were the diagnosis that I've given and these were the mobile mobile number and all of those things. And I can also search on them. So, so yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, this was pretty much pretty much it. And and yeah, this was an entire full stack application. I'll just uh, make a walk through this entire flow in another video uh, because uh, I feel th this this has a lot of code going on, right? So I'll have to explain all the workings on it. But nothing fancy in it. It's a very straightforward, uh, simple full stack application, and that's how it works. And yeah, one more thing. Um, there's also the sign up page, right? We can also sign up and I've also added, added the validations here. So I can uh, register as a doctor or a patient. And let's say I'm giving some details. Let's say blah, blah, blah. And name, uh, sample name or whatever. Sample name, give an email, uh, example at gmail.com or ex1. I think I've already used ex, so yeah. Hello world, <laughs> let's give it a hello world password. Give it a mobile. So I'll just give anything. Uh, the number, we can give something like this. 888-666. We can give any address, blah, blah, blah. Uh, anywhere, right? Somewhere or anything. Um, we, we can give any date. and we can check box and then we can sign up. So after we have signed up, we can just log, log in as a user and then uh, see all the things. So let me just sign up, right? And we have patient register successfully. Now we can simply log in as a user. So this was the user, I think, and this was the password. And see, now we have logged in as the user and we can see, um, we can search the uh, again the same thing right we can search for the doctors we can check this history and so on uh so now yeah we have registered um okay and finally like i, I would like to add that i still have to make some optimization in, in it like um let me show you where what i mean with the optimizations so 
like for example uh with the optimizations what we can do in it is this uh for example when we are searching for the city and when you enter the speciality then we click on search so every time this is making a call right and once we switch to let's say this my history tab so this is opening a new component and once we switch back to the doctor right find a doctor then again our data is lost and the component is reloaded right so we can we can uh, uh figure out a way to store the uh, data that is that we have passed already uh, uh into the parent component so for example if you have entered here delhi and let's say cardio right so this entire thing is in a home page component so what we can do is we can once we are uh, searching for a patient right so once we enter the details we can store those details into the home component uh passing the data from child component to the parent component and this way once we uh load the component each time we just uh load the load the data specific to that that we have already uh, fetched so that is one of the optimization that we can make here uh, let's say for if, for example if we go to my history right so every time when we click on my history it's making a call to the backend and then fetching the data so instead of that we can simply once we go to, once we come to this dashboard right we can just fetch the data once and for all and then uh, whenever we switch around we can just switch uh, we can just display that data in, into this table and we don't have to make a call every time once we click on this my history so that is one of the optimization that we can make here and also uh, one of the thing that is there missing in this is uh, i have to make this responsive so uh, this is exactly in a container so uh, this is not exactly responsive i have to check out the html elements and css for that so for the smaller devices it goes like this so i have to still make it responsive but although some of the pages that are there in bootstrap they are fully responsive so if we check this out we can see that this is fully responsive and it's changing but uh, there is one issue here with uh, this um, drop down so this is coming out of this i have to figure it i have to change it right here and this is one of the smaller small thing that i have to do uh but yeah uh, these were the uh, main points that i wanted to talk what optimization we can make here what things we can do to improve it and i think it gives a very fair idea of what this application is about what it's doing and i'll just walk through the uh, complete flow or how it's working and i'll also mention the uh, github links of this entire project that i have made uh, in the description so i yeah, do for, do don't forget to check it out and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and peace out this was all it thank you